good morning. We just got to a park. It's actually, let's see here. It's almost 1.30. <laughs> we have been at the house all morning, really. Um, we don't have power this morning, so we were kind of just doing nothing. Um, I was working on videos for a little while, and then we all fell back asleep. Angel asked if I wanted to come to this park earlier with them, because they were here, but then we all fell asleep, and we didn't come when they were here, and they left, but now we're here. We've never been to this park, and we actually even had to use Google Maps to find it, but it's kind of cool. Wee -wee! up Nick so we dropped Ray off and now we're free the rest of the day except for like 4 30 when Travis has to start getting ready for work <laughs> but then Calvin and I don't have anything else to do and we still have no power at the house so we're at the BX to do nothing for like the next I don't know 30 45 minutes this is seriously a monumental moment as a commissary here because usually salad like bags of baby spinach used to be like $6.99 and then bags of salad used to be like five something and now they're a dollar fifty and two fifty that's so awesome and she's like she's like can I help you with anything I was like no I was just vlogging I was just looking at the prices she's like yeah we switched so now we're getting stuff directly from Fresh Express and there's no middleman so they don't have to pay someone else and yeah, make it so much more expensive. So it's cheaper now. It's gonna be cheaper. So from yeah, from now on it's gonna be cheaper, which is awesome because if anyone's been in Okinawa or lived on Kavina, they know salad's expensive. So it's so awesome. We just got home and we had a note on the door, a courtesy warning that we need to mow the lawn. It's really not even that bad. It's like weeds mostly right now because it's starting to rain, get sunny, rain, get sunny, which makes it grow really, really fast. So Travis is gonna weed eat and mow the lawn real quick before he goes to work. And because it's a beautiful day, you can go ahead and watch it. I feel like a total, total loser now. I completely forgot you guys outside. I left my camera sitting outside while Travis was mowing the lawn and it stayed there for quite some time. It's 7.35 and Travis mowed the lawn at like four o'clock. He's already at work. We've already eaten. Like this was a while ago. I screwed up. I'm sorry. I just did two of my workouts. I did core and lower body define. So worked my core and my legs. And now we're gonna go throw Zeke's ball outside. I'm so excited. He doesn't even know his ears inside out right now. He's that excited. Is this what you want, Tiki Bear? You want your ball? Do you want to go play fetch? Do you want to go outside? You want to go outside? Hobo? <gasps> Tiki, your ear is inside out. How do you not know that your ear is inside out? It has to be so much louder right now. Your ear is inside out. Your ear is inside out. Diggy bear, diggy bear, your ear is inside out. I got the scorpion. Nice scorpion. Wanna go throw Ziggy's ball? He's wetty. Ziggy's wetty! I was in my room letting my phone charge and laying with Zeke and just appreciating him for a little bit because I know when we go back home in June, and we're not going to see him for a whole month and it makes me really sad and I just want to love on him and let him know that he's my best friend. 
but I noticed Calvin had gotten pretty quiet out here, so I'm thinking that you're probably guessing exactly what I was guessing at the time, that he fell asleep on the couch, like he always does. He's so precious, I just love him. I'm gonna go lay him down in bed though. I did want to point out that my flowers have finally bloomed. Look how pretty they look. So pretty. It literally punches you in the face as soon as you walk in the door, the smell of flowers. And the other day when Travis walked in, he's like, it smells like pee in here. I'm like, that's flowers. It smells like fresh flowers. <laughs> Crazy me, I almost forgot you guys were in there again. What is wrong with me? Why am I so forgetful today? Before I head to bed, I have two things to talk about really quick. By the time I get to the end of the first one, I'll probably forget what the second one is, but I'm gonna try to remember. So the first thing is, our couple's Q&A the other day that I had posted, one of the questions was about our tattoos, like what they are so we can show them if they have any meaning. And we'd kind of spent a few minutes talking about that. And then I was like, why don't we make it its own separate video? So later, maybe in a week or a couple weeks, I will be posting another video with Travis. Yay! And it will be about our tattoos and what they mean. I think I've already kind of went over what mine mean pretty much. I know I didn't say what my one on my ribs meant. Some other stuff like that. But I've gotten a few more since then. So anyone that's new you'll get a little refresher so everyone else will already know what I'm talking about. But that is one thing to look forward to will be that tattoo video. The second thing is after this next week I won't be nannying anymore. I just found out today that she's putting them in the CDC and after school program so <laughs> starting May 1st I won't have them anymore. It'll just be Calvin and I and We'll have a lot more free time, a lot more time to go out and explore and go to parks and go to the beach. This summer, Calvin and I will spend a lot of time at the beach and the pool when Travis is working. I love swimming and laying out in the sun. So Calvin and I will be doing a lot of that. I find it kind of funny and I don't really know how to take it at the same time about this whole situation, but I'm just looking at it as a blessing. I have been super stressed about it all lately too so I think that that's kind of a good thing that I won't have them because it'll be like this huge weight off my shoulders the last couple of months that we're here I'll be able to go home and enjoy being home with family and everything knowing that when I get back it won't be like this obligation or I won't be going back into a stressful time so I'm kind of really excited about it all it makes me kind of happy i had been contemplating giving my notice before we leave here like maybe hey when we leave in june when we come back i won't be watching them anymore but this way it works out really nicely that i don't have to be the bad guy here <laughs> and i don't know i don't know what the goal was there but it worked out in my favor surprisingly so that's kind of nice i just made myself some apples and almond butter though so i'm gonna go head to bed lay down whatever do whatever i do anyways for now that is that and we will see you and we see you Bye! Oh, yeah, yeah.